Battery Commodity are making a bold statement. AST Space Mobile has an edge in business to business versus Starlink going forward. Now we've had the quarterly AST update call this week. Thanks for Ampman and Catsy for hosting a session. I'll put the link down below. If you haven't seen it, definitely do check it out because it provides some good context on the update from this quarterly call. Know what you own. Many times we tend to focus just on retail. The 2.9 million people that AST could connect via their 45 MNOs that they have uh, contracted. And that Starlink, of course, has a heads up start. They already have the satellites up and running. They are billing revenue. They are delivering business. Um, but in B2B versus retail, you do need people, you need organizations, you need operations in order to deliver. Now, I've been in global telecoms for the greater part of uh, the last 15 years, and I can tell you um, that, yes, Starlink is very cool. They might have the edge in retail, but they have 3,300 people working for them. Now, if you compare that to the setup, those working together with AST Space Mobile, we're talking about 640,000 people across Vodafone, Verizon, AT&T, Rakuten, Nokia, and Alphabet. Now, you could argue okay, how many of those are working in, in business to business and how relevant is that going forward? But believe me, it's not just about the direct sales working in these organizations. It's also about service, it's op operation, it's uh, architects. It's also legal, it's contracting, all the elements that you need to be successful in business to business. Now, if we look at the business to business market going forward, um, delivering connectivity as private 5G from space, for example, we have a huge market anywhere between 80 to 95 billion by 2035 for services that could be based on 5G from space. Now how much is going to materialize in revenue for AST Space Mobile and what kind of market share are they going to claim? I don't know. But it definitely is a market worthwhile watching. I've used the example of John Deere farming as a service before where companies transition from selling a physical product to selling a service that is delivered from the cloud, that is managed by artificial intelligence, where you want to have always on connectivity and you want to be in direct control of that data and of the connectivity. And how better to do that when you have your private 5G delivered from space. So on that note, Fingers crossed for the next few months, uh, for the next launch. And thanks again for the SpaceMob community for all your due diligence and helping uh, us long-term holders stay cool, calm and collected. Bye-bye.